99X. We are the Morning X, and we are the original 99X. Welcome back if you're just finding us. Ton of ways to listen. We have our new app, which is better than ever, in my opinion. You can listen on smart devices. You can listen on your phone, Apple Music. It's everywhere. And even, Leslie, the old-fashioned radio. Oh, I forgot about that. In your car. Yep, 100.5. Um, we're going to start having on once a month. This is the first time we had him on last month and he was so fun and had so much good information. I thought it'd be great to have him on monthly. And I'm talking about Jared Oxendine from Oxendine Law. Good morning, Jared. Good morning, Barnes and Leslie. So nice to be with you all again. Thank you. So much great response from your appearance last time. You've got great information and insights from doing this for so long. And this, I'm saying divorce. Yeah, you said divorce and fun a minute ago, Barnes. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Come Jared, on. It was so much fun the last well, time hey, we had look, <laughs> It Come can on. be fun for some people. I'll be fir- the first to tell you, some people are already planning their divorce party when they're meeting with me for the first time. There are some folks out there that just cannot wait to get out of the situation they're in. And they literally, they're like planning a divorce party is like a big thing these days, apparently. I haven't been invited to one yet, but my clients tell me about them all the time. Well, it's new beginnings, right? So people, I'm sure, look, people have gone through divorce. People might be going through it right now and they may be going through it soon. So keep Jared Oxendine in your mind because he's got good information. And I'm going to prove that to you right now. One thing I'm hearing a lot about, Jared, are high profile women who are the breadwinners divorcing their slack ass husbands is that a thing (laughs) (laughs) yes it is and back in the day we never saw that right it was always the men that were out working and making the money and the the wife was a stay-at-home mom or you know taking care of the household and you would get divorced and these guys were paying alimony these days it's very common to see either both parties working or, yes, even the wife being the breadwinner and the husband is the stay-at-home dad and he's the housemaker. And they get divorced and I've had cases where the wife has actually paid the husband alimony. So that does happen. I'm seeing it in social in my social media. There are two of them that have just happened or are happening right now. And she looks happier than ever in every picture. And all of a sudden, he has disappeared from the stream. Right. There's no more images of him. And I mean, kudos. Like, wow. Whatever, whenever that turn happened, good on him. But here's a question. I saw this pop up in Buckhead Brookhaven referrals and advice. No kidding. Just like I watch reality TV, I read reality social media. So... This was a question someone posed. I thought it would be perfect for you, Jared. Let's do it. Does anyone have a recommendation for an attorney who can represent, in all caps, both parties in an uncontested divorce? Help write the agreement, parenting plan, and file. Thank you. This is for a friend in Forsyth County. Good question. And the funny part about that question is, it's always for a quote-unquote friend, right? right? Anytime somebody asks me a question, hey, th- I want to ask you a question for my friend. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure, unquote. let me let me help your friend out. But <laughs> but with that being said, what this <laughs> what this person's talking about is an uncontested divorce, and there is such a thing as an uncontested divorce where you and your spouse have already reached an agreement from the very beginning. Before you hire the attorney, you know how you want to divide everything. You know what you're doing on custody and child support and the whole nine yards. And so you hire an attorney to draft the documents and process it through the court. The incorrect part or assumption of that question is that you can hire an attorney that represents both parties. You can't. Technically, that attorney only represents one party. So whatever spouse comes in to meet with that attorney to present the terms of the agreement, that's who that attorney represents. And frankly, I've had people come to my office, husband and wife together, where they're trying to do the uncontested divorce. And I have to tell them, y'all have got to pick which one of you two I'm going to represent. The reason for that is, is because I can't technically represent both parties in a divorce case because right. <laughs> what the husband's interest might be might be completely different from the wife's interest. And let's say we draft up this agreement and one of them changes their mind or they don't want to sign. If I am representing both parties, I'm not conflicted out. I can't represent either one of them. So it's actually not ethical to represent both parties in a divorce case, even if it's uncontested. He's really good at this, Barnes, by the way. It just rolls off his tongue. It's unbelievable. (laughs) So for people that are listening, and I know that, you know, we have opened it up for, you know, Q&A from our listeners to ask a divorce attorney, but how much does a divorce actually 
cost oh, in the state of Georgia? That's a loaded question. Well, I mean. Yeah, it, it, it depends on who you hire. I mean, I'll be honest. You driving down the interstate, you see these billboards where they're, you know, advertising like a five ninety nine divorce. When I say five ninety nine, I'm talking about five hundred ninety nine dollars. Number one, it's not true. Um, they're talking about like just the court cost, and they're going to charge attorney's fees on top of that. So I would I would run away from those guys. I mean, the filing fee in a divorce alone it runs about three to four hundred dollars, and those are the fees you pay to the county. But if you have an uncontested divorce and you hire a reputable attorney, they will probably give you a flat fee, um, depending on what's involved in your case. My flat fee is somewhere between twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred dollars, depending on what all the issues are. Um, if it's a contest divorce, you're going to pay a retainer up front and you're going to be charged hourly at, while the attorney does that work. And so basically, as we do work, we charge our hourly rate and we deduct from that retainer. And if there's money left over at the end, you get it back. If we go over, let's say your case is really contested and we can't agree and we got to go to court, you may go over that retainer and you would pay the difference. But the average retainer in my office is around 5000 some are more, some may be a little less, but the average initial retainer to get started runs around $5,000. And no disrespect to anyone listening, that is nothing. You do not want a discount divorce because in the end, it's going to cost you so much more, both emotionally and financially. So do it right. I mean, I know Ignore it's... Ignore those billboards. Like, it's the end of the road, you acknowledge it, and you start healing, but do it right. Don't set yourself up for that failure, especially when there's kids involved. Well, Jared, always great advice. We have a load of questions that have come in already. Of course, we can't get to them all in one time. But if you have a question, hi at themorningx.com. We won't say your name because, of course, it's for a friend. We we will not out you. And you can reach Jared Oxendine at Oxendine Law via their website if you have interest. And if that's something you need, that's oxlawfirm.com. Jared, thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll speak with you next month. Thank you. Good morning, X. With Barnes and Leslie.